Let's look now at the concept of context diagrams and context diagrams show the interaction of data between the system uh, and entities external to the system and we can see here that we are using uh, the three symbols uh, that are used in a context diagram. We have over on this side a box uh, and this box this one here is basically representing an external entity that is giving input data following this arrow into this process. Uh, once the process processes the information it gives some meaningful output which is output as information usually to an external entity uh, and that could be for example data going in it could be a click on a URL uh, and that would just send in the URL the information process would be the web server giving back a web page in the form of HTML uh, which is dealt with by the browser on the other end and the external entity in that case would be the same as the uh, external entity on this case. You can have as many external entities as you need uh, say for example an FPOS transaction might have a customer on the on the data input side and it would have a bank and it would have uh, the vendor and the output would be um, the receipt to the vendor and the external entity so you, there's all sorts of uh, conditions you could have but you only usually have one process and one process uh, is all you would need um, these, these diagrams commonly occur in both the HSC for information processing and technology and also uh, for software design development this is an example and our example is Moodle which is our learning management system uh, the teacher puts in resources grades, uh, feedback, that sort of thing. Uh, those resources, grades and feedback are read by the student. Um, the student, this, this arrow is around the wrong way, the student puts in uh, assignment submissions to Moodle and those assignments are taken back by the teacher which in turn uh, marks them and goes back around in circles. So that is an information process uh, or a context diagram for Moodle.